you're in the market for a microscope camera, I would recommend this one. This is the Mechanic DX 4K Mini. It is a high resolution, high quality camera that works really well. One of the things I like the most about it is the auto exposure. This is basically the software inside the camera that auto adjusts the brightness of the image depending on what's being seen by the camera. So for example, if you're working with a shield nearby that reflects a lot of light into the camera and it will darken it so it looks better, uh, better image. Also vice versa, if you're dealing with a dark image, it'll brighten it up so you can see it better. So it auto adjusts to give you the best image while you're working automatically. And that's really helpful when you're doing microscope uh, repair videos. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, how I have it set up, how to install it, and pretty much everything you need to know to get these microscope cameras set up. So make sure you guys watch the full video and I will link to where to buy it down below in the video description. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's go over where to purchase this, which is DIYFixTool.com. I will put my link down below. And if you use that link, you do support the channel by a little bit. And you can see the price is $138.99 plus shipping. So it is from China. So account for that. You could put in your, uh, your information here and it will give you an estimate for shipping fees. But as you can see, it comes with a remote, a power cable, HDMI cable, pretty much everything you need for this camera to power it. Now there are some other pieces that you need, which we'll go over here shortly, but for the camera, this is, uh, this is it. Here below you can see some specs. So this is a 4K camera, which supports uh, 30 FPS. But if you wanna use 1080p, you can do 60 FPS, which basically gives you a smoother video image. Now, personally, I'd rather get 4K image than 1080p because all my videos are in 4K and I do like 4K quality videos and that's what I use. And here's a little bit more specs. So if you wanna read more about that, that's there. But uh, now let's take a look at the actual unit. So we'll go over this here in a second, but here's the camera itself. It's tiny, like it fits in the palm of my hand. And up here are the buttons. So the remote has basically the same buttons, which the remote has to point to this to work. And this is basically the menu. Uh, you can go left, right, up, down, or depending on which mode you're in, you can zoom in, zoom out, although I don't recommend that. Here's the auto exposure. So if you hold this button, you can enable or disable auto exposure. Uh, also, there's an SD card slot. So if you wanna record directly into an SD card for some whatever reason, I wouldn't recommend that, but it's there. And then here's the power port, USB type C which it does come in the box and HDMI cable. So that is, you know, the video output. Now you can use it through USB-C, but I personally just prefer to use uh, HDMI. Here's the LED lights and basically here's the camera. Now, one of the things about these cameras is you can't just plug this in directly to your microscope. You're gonna need a, what is called a reduction lens. So before I show that is uh, also consider there's like a little spacer here which you do need as well so this is the reduction lens now there's different types but this is the one i like because it's like short and it also has focus so as you twist it it adjusts the focus and i'll show you guys how to set up the focus so it's all in sync but essentially this is an extra lens for the camera so it's the camera the little spacer the reduction lens and they get screwed in together. And then this, this part plugs into your microscope. So let me show you guys how that all goes. But essentially, uh, this is kind of gonna be the setup. All right, so now I'm gonna show you kind of how it's all set up on the physical microscope. Now on a Parco, you will need a bit. So you'll need a T8 to basically screw this in together as there's a hole right here on the side where you can unscrew, basically loosen this up and you'll be able to remove this whole thing. So basically when you get this, you'll have something else here. So you gotta remove that and essentially plug this little setup in. So I have two setups here, 0.35X or 0.5X. So on my microscope, I use 0.5X and you know, it works really well. Now on my technician's microscope, he's a 0.35X. Honestly, I get confused as to which one does what. One gives you a closer image than the other. 
but that's kind of um, you know, personal preference. Now, as you can see here, I have a power cable running out, HDMI cable. I actually bought a special 90 degree that comes, then plugs into a regular HDMI that then goes to my computer. But essentially, this is how I have it set up. So like I mentioned, this is part of the microscope. This is the reduction lens. There's a little spacer and then the camera. And by the way, if you're using an AM scope, you're probably gonna need this bit. But I just realized that they have different bits here for the side of the scope to unscrew. So this is 764 hex bit, whereas for my particle, it uses the T8 bit. So now you're wondering, all right, this HDMI cable goes to the computer, but how exactly does it plug in? So you're gonna need a capture card like this one. So the other end of the HDMI cable goes into this. And then the, this gets converted to USB. And then you basically show up as a USB camera here on OBS. So OBS is the software you wanna use to show your image on your monitor. Although technically you could plug this in directly to a monitor and you just have a raw feed. What I like about using OBS is you can record videos onto your computer. You could add additional cameras and do some other stuff with OBS. So here, let me show you how you would do this. So in OBS, you essentially just click add video capture device, uh, you name it, whatever. You'll find one of your things here will be called whatever your capture card is called. So mine, I'm using this one. So it shows up like this. And then here you can adjust the resolution manually or do different things, uh, but I like to stick with the default 4K image. And that's kind of how you set that up. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of sync this up so that the camera and your eyepieces are all in sync. Essentially what you gotta do is, what is the most common height that the thing you're working on is gonna be at? So like if you're always in, using board holders, you wanna set that up and then put it under the microscope. So let's just focus on that A14 there. And the trick here is to first zoom in on your microscope. So you wanna zoom in by twisting the knobs so you're all the way in and make sure your image is clear. Actually, let me maximize the screen so it's a little bit easier to see. All right, so right now it's not that clear, right? Like it's very blurry. So you, once you zoom all the way in, you adjust the big knob here to get into focus until you see that A14 super clear, which is right there. Now you wanna do that with your eyepieces. So let me actually change this. All right, so imagine we're looking through the eyepieces and wanna focus it. All right, A14 is focused there. Now uh, make sure you're focused and then you zoom all the way out and then you twist these to be in focus. So I already have this all set up. This is why it's pretty much already in focus. So adjust it until it's in focus and do that with both of your eyes so that when you zoom out, you're now in focus, you're adjusting the focus here. So zoomed in, you focus with the big knobs here. You zoom out and you focus with the eyepieces here. Once you have that set up, you should be able to zoom in and out and be in focus the whole time. Although I don't know if it comes in through the camera uh, because the camera is also auto focusing, so ignore that. But now you have all that and you're zoomed out, then you come in here and twist this knob to be in focus as well. So this is already in focus. So imagine it's like that, right? So zoom in, zoom out, you do those two things and then you adjust this focus there. Now when you zoom in, it's in focus, zoom out, it's in focus, and that will be true for your eyepieces as well. Now you have this all in sync. And that's how you set up your microscope camera and your eyepieces to be working really well. So here on the camera, you're seeing the quality of the image of the board. So as I get, see how I got close and it got bright, I zoomed out, it was bright and then it auto adjust. So that will be true uh, throughout your use. So you zoom in and I have to focus it because I'm moving around. But look at that quality of that image. You can see the shape and the color is super clear, very accurate look. So I zoom out, 
zoom in, the auto brightness is adjusting automatically. So what do you guys think of this microscope camera? It has a really good quality. If, I mean, if you've been watching my channel, you know how it looks. Uh, you can see how clear the image is all the way zoomed in. And I'm also using a 0.5x uh, Barlow lens. So that does adjust or affect, you know, my zoom in and zoom out uh, magnification. But just something to keep in mind, you know, the benefit to using a Barlow lens as you get way more working distance between the scope and the, and the subject, which is, you know, this board. It gives you way more room to work. Like I could literally fit both my hands and pretty much have no issue there. Now, one of the things about, you know, that synchronization I showed you guys with the, uh, with the focus is once you put the board at a different height, now that whole thing messes up. So I zoom in, everything's blurry. I focus it. All right, let's get on this apple here. I zoom out, it's no longer in focus. It's actually pretty blurry on my eyes. On the camera, it's not that bad. So I do have to adjust. But, um, you know, that's why I was saying is the most common place you work, do that uh, synchronization of the eyepieces and the camera um, with that. Because every once in a while, you have to work at a different height which is gonna affect that, you know, synchronization. And actually it's not called synchronization, it's called to parfocal your microscope. But I think more people would understand if I just say synchronize. Now, one thing I did forget to mention also is I'm using a different light than most people. This is my polarizer light and it's really bright, which also improves the quality of the image. So the brighter the light, the better the microscope image you'll get. So it's something to keep in mind Take a look at that battery connector, how clear it looks. And then as I adjust the focus, you can see how clear every part of the thing looks. So what do you guys think? You know, you're spending about 140 for the camera. Uh, these are about like 30 bucks. And then you gotta buy a capture card, which will vary. For example, this one's a hundred bucks. It is a 4K capture card that does really good quality. Uh, there's other ones on the market as well. There's between, you know, $30 to, uh, you know, $100. So this is kind of like the more expensive one. Now, if you're looking for a capture card, make sure you get one that does 4K recording. There's some that say 4K, but it's saying it could accept 4K input, but it doesn't output 4K. So be careful with that. So I'll link to this one that for sure works with 4K image and to all the different things I use as well. So let me know what you guys thought. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support the channel, use the links for these products down below because you're paying the same price you would have paid, but I get a small little commission out of every purchase. So appreciate all you guys who stuck around here till the end. If you have any other questions about microscope cameras, microscopes, micro soldering, let me know down below in the comments or join my Facebook group so you can ask there as well. Don't forget, we also have t-shirts. I have links to our solder cores and some other cool stuff, so check that out. Uh, like I said, appreciate all you guys here. Stuck around here till the end. I'll see you guys in the next one.